and gentlemen, what is going on? My name is DJ A9ZT, and we're back with WWE Champion and another five star bronze character gameplay preview video. And today we got Trish Stratus, Hall of Fame, and uh, we're gonna get into it here. So, as you can see, there is no special gear, it's just the bronze statue, Trish. Uh, nothing happening here on this screen, nothing to flip around, nothing to do. So, let's get into it. She is a showboat take a look at this coaching ability she's a coach purple moves deal more damage i like it move damage coach up to 25 percent at 12k so that's actually pretty cool she's got the hall of fame link for four extra move points and the stratosphere is the four star move and the reversal is the five star move and i'm not a fan of reversal moves i like never use them so that's defensive play and why are we playing defensively in a preview video we're playing offensively so we're coming out here going for it. Let's take a look at the first move set I'm going to run. And uh, this is actually a three star move set here. So we'll see how this does. Uh, we got the Matrish red move, five charge, deal 36k damage, and destroy six random yellow gems. And then we got the sharpshooter, yellow seven charge, submission, place 15 sub gems and do 11k damage for five turns. Uh, remaining subs turn into reinforced gems. And then we got the finisher here, Stratisfaction, deal 75k damage and choose a 3x3 area to swap to blue gems. Now she's got a lot of different variations of movesets you can do. I'm only going to do a couple. I'm sure the other creators will show you guys more and you'll be able to figure more out just from seeing what I have in this video. But uh, these are things that stood out to me. So I'm going to roll Sting on there because I want to hit that Matrix right away, destroy yellow gems hit the sub, and then hopefully have a big finisher ready by then. So at the three-star level, you'd be ready to finish him with the finisher. But up here, we're going to have to recycle. Now, this moveset is not going to recycle, but the Matrix is only five charge. So with basic perks on there or whatever, like you match red and you got it. So, And then you'll be ready to hit again as long as yellow's on the board. It's going to be board dependent. So... Stings on there to hit the Matrix right away. I got Edge on there for uh, Blue Gems. Do 35% more damage. Try and buff that finisher up. I got Rikishi for matching Yellow Gems to uh, get an extra charge. And Booker T Hall of Fame for 5% more Yellow Gem damage. So We're going to go out here on the road. Royal Rumble against Nikki Bella. And uh, we're going to see what we can do here. I am going to bring, uh, yeah, I'll just bring the uh, the 2x4 with. In case I get in a shitty situation where I can't get out of a pin, I might do a uh, prop. Because I ain't got a lot of time this morning, so. <laughs> I'm thinking with a submission, though, we should be okay. We should be able to hold her down. So turn one, we're going to hit the Matrish. yellow on the board so we're gonna need a turn we're gonna need another turn here the board is not friendly right now there's not a lot of red and uh, yellow on the board there's a lot of blue though so Okay, so this says place 15 gems. That's a lot of sub gems to place, guys. I'm going to put them on yellows and reds, particularly. Not this one that she could break easily, but... Just because... If I break them, then the reason they'll stay on the board so kind of helps you keep the board up that way that's how i used to run uh showboat andre back in the day you know you always put the, i always put the sub gems on the yellow so that they would become the reinforced see right here is where i really needed to be left that red break and i don't have that now so we can take these blues and yellows away from her blues and greens away from her perfect she left me a red match there we go. Now we're back in business. So she's not ready to strike here, so I'm going to go ahead and hit the finisher now. 3x3 three three into blue. Let's 
Let's go here and uh, use these reinforcements to double up. And bah! hit it again. There we go. There we go. 144k on that. Not great damage, guys. But she's a showboat. What do you expect? All right. Right when she's about to hit that move again. Finisher again, we can do that. Um, what is happening here? Why isn't she moving? Aha! She couldn't figure out what it is she wanted to do there. Control of the match so far, though, so that's a good thing. Ah, one more, and I could have held her from hitting that finisher or for charging it up. What? This is ridiculous. I probably won't even kick out. I hate going against her. There we go. We had enough to get out of there. But we wasted our reinforced gem, so not happy about that. Yes, baby. No, I wasn't. is not going to be ready, so let's go ahead and hit ours. And then we'll hit the sub next turn, in case she charges up, because the other moves aren't don't have any charge. Uh, I don't want to mess up the red gems over there. Finisher is still just not doing a lot of damage there. <clears throat> now she's charged, so now let's go ahead. Just load up this side over here. Hopefully we end up with a 3x3. Three three. So it took a little damage there, took a little damage there, but we were firmly in control of the match, mostly. I was unimpressed by the finisher damage, though, I gotta be honest. I really felt like when you're hitting a finisher that's choosing an area like that, that should hit the more. Especially at 5-star. You're not putting anybody away with, with 100 and, what was it, 140 at best. It's not gonna put anybody away. 
And if I... Look at that. 40 health packs on that one. Unreal. Okay, so we got another set here. We can go blue. So we can run two blues here. Choose a four by two to swap to yellow. Choose a seven by two to make reinforce. And uh, choose a three by three to swap into blue here. So really, if we want to do... Uh, seven by two into reinforce and then four by two to swap into yellow first off we're gonna take sting off of here and uh, go with Lawler and then what we want is yellow gem damage that's what I think and then, so we got double yellow gem damage is ready. Uh, blue, maybe we go Andre here, because that's what I think. We go Trickster Andre. So those six charge blues there. Okay. So we had the backhand chop six charge blue deal 44k damage and choose a seven by two to make it to reinforce and the stratosphere six charge blue deal 42k damage and choose a four by two to swap into yellow so you can make the reinforced gem area and then you can blow up the whole reinforced gem area uh like that so that's why i'm buffing the yellow gem damage because you're going to double break all those yellows uh, and uh, we got yellow gem damage on Booker too, and then Andre will help us hit the blues quicker. The finisher will recharge the blues, so let's just go from there. Let's see if we can hit for some bigger damage here. Take green away from her since we're already going to be full. Alright, let's make the reinforced gems. Try this. I don't know. This is my first time trying this setup, so I don't know if I'm setting this up wrong or what. This would break everything. <sighs> That'll wild card the top. That's fine. A big double break there. 146 is so still unimpressive on the damage. She's not putting out enough damage. You're going to have to... You will have to have a strap. Now, mind you, Nikki Bella does have buffs and nerfs here, and we got nothing. We got nothing on our Trish. She is baseline, so give her a break on that aspect. Let's see finisher without edge uh, on there. Look at that. 85k, that's it. It's not it, Chief. Maybe for a hot tag. She's going to need a tag link with a Hall of Fame tag link or somebody to charge her up when she comes in. Because using the move point trainer is just not being very helpful here. You need damage trainers. don't have a yellow match anywhere oh that's that's not gonna do it that's insane okay we got lucky to get out that time seven by two to reinforce Jones big double break there 140 again no, we ain't doing more than 140 what she lacks on offensive output here uh, she does have that reversal mind you so she could be a pain on defense for you to leave in 
And also, uh, it's all about that coaching ability, guys. The move damage buff on coaching, that's going to be huge. I feel like for this setup, though, you need double fury. You need a blue gem damage trainer and a yellow gem damage trainer. Oh, we got a run in. We got a run in. Tell him hi. Who do you think is going to win? The bronze statue or the girl in the red? The girl in the red? Are you kidding me? That's who I'm going against. I'm going to win. Mm, I'm not sure about that. <clears throat> no, I'm the one. That's me. I'm the, I'm the bronze statue. Ooh, look at that. Didn't finish, so the Stratisfaction here should get the finish, guys. And that one's it. So we did win with no sub and no skip or nothing, so wasn't that bad. And if you add a bunch of buffs onto that, like some straps with some furies or some move damages or something, like we could have finished that a lot sooner. And maybe with some armor medals on, we could have prevented that finisher from hurting us. So. What? No, you sure didn't. So we'll go back and just take a quick look at what else she had. Like I said, we had the reversal down here. So kick out, deal 86k damage, and move the pin bar left by 8 notches. I don't really use that on offense, guys. I don't know. I mean, I suppose you could go triple yellow, but there ain't nothing to help you make more yellow gems. Then you got the Matrix Revolution, six charge red, uh, deal 46k damage and destroy 10 random reinforced gems. So you could go Matrix Sharpshooter and Matrix Revolutions, and you could use the Sharpshooter to put reinforced gems on yellow and then hope the, or put them on yellow and red and then hit the Revolutions and hope that that breaks and recycles your other moves. Again, that's going to be another board-dependent setup. So uh, it's kind of like uh, Showboat Becky at that point. But very board-dependent and not a lot of damage output. <laughs> Look at you. You're so crazy. So I'm going to skip that one for today. I'm going to leave you guys here. Uh, check out the other creators. I'm sure they'll show some extra move sets. And uh, I'll be on stream tonight if you guys want to come suggest some more move sets for me to try show up tonight i'll, I'll uh, we can check it out together guys so uh i'll leave you with that until next time guys <laughs>